Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On November 16th, Kyungi Province hosted a joint public and private policy forum at the Kyungi Center for Public Interest Support to identify ways in which to improve community life and promote public interest activities. During the forum, a number of suggestions were discussed regarding institutional improvements and public-private cooperative governance for the promotion of public interest activities in the province. The province will adopt recommended suggestions, including ordinance amendments for joint pursuit with the private sector. In Kyungi Province, Financial support of 20 billion Korean won will be made available annually to social economy enterprises over a five-year period, representing total support of 100 billion Korean won. On November 16th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee jae Young and National Credit Union Federation President Kim yoon Shik signed an agreement to operate this five-year support program for social economy enterprises. Financing will be made available to all social economy enterprises, cooperatives and community enterprises in the province on a contractual basis at 1% annual interest. On November 20th, Kyungi Province began making direct basic income type payments to more than 96,000 farm households in the province so as to promote publicly beneficial agricultural activities. Under this program, each farm with an area of less than 5,000 square meters will receive a direct payment of 1.2 million Korean won annually. Other farms will receive differentiated amounts based on area. For this year's payments, which will be made before the end of December, Kyungi Province has secured a national subsidy of 175.2 billion Korean won. The payment can be collected at city and county offices or at local public offices. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to expand its support coverage for local currency use to include more small businesses and consumers. These plans include a one-month extension of an incentive application deadline to December 17th and the easing of related qualifications from November 12th. This will allow a first-time local currency card user to receive a 30,000 Korean won support incentive immediately upon reloading, regardless of the card balance, if the user reloads more than 200,000 Korean won. In addition, card usage data from cities and counties will be collated, and those who have made payments totaling 200,000 Korean won or more with local currency cards will also receive support. All Kyungi local currency card holders, except first-time users, must make local currency payments of at least 200,000 Korean won with their cards during the period from September 18th to December 17th to be eligible for the local currency support incentive. The total number of subscribers to Kyungi Province's representative online lifelong education service, GSEEK, recently exceeded 1 million. Realized within four years of the service's 2016 launch, this marks a record among the various public lifelong education services. The number of content views also increased significantly from approximately 32,000 in January to almost triple that number in September. All of GSEEK's more than 1,400 online courses in eight categories, including foreign languages, vocational certifications, and hobbies, are provided free of charge. The Korea Kyunggi-do company announced that trial operation of Delivery Express, Kyunggi Province's public delivery service app, will begin in the cities of Hwasang, Osan, and Paju on December 1st. Delivery Express was developed with the aim of encouraging fair competition in the delivery app market, which has been effectively monopolized, while also alleviating burdens borne by small businesses in terms of excessive fees for services and advertising. This public delivery app is the first such digital platform service realized through public and private collaboration in Korea, as well as the core digital New Deal project of Kyunggi Province. As part of efforts to reopen the Gaesung Industrial Complex through an inter-Korean summit declaration, 
Gyeonggi Province established a field office for its Vice Governor for Peace on November 10th in Imjingak of Paju City with encouragement and support from all social sectors. Such support was demonstrated by visits to the office by Paju City Mayor Che Jong Hwan, as well as by many other public figures, and by announcements of support from the chairpersons of 31 city and county councils. The Imjingak location will operate temporarily until the office is permanently established at Dora Observatory as originally planned. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.